hi guys happy monday to you i hope you had an amazing weekend i know i did i wish you a beautiful week ahead you're gonna rock it today we are still on body shaming because as little of it as you think it is a massive topic and it's something that needs to come to an end so let's find better ways to talk to people so that it doesn't look like like your body shaming them you know most of the times i understand that some people take it as a joke you know but everything has a limit everything has a limit don't you don't always have to say something okay you don't always have to say something sometimes keep your thoughts to yourself swallow them whenever before you vomit, swallow it back and move on. Nobody wants your opinion. It is not important. The only time I need your opinion is if I ask for it. If I don't ask for it, don't tell me. Okay? Body shaming, what you don't understand is that it has even cost people good relationships because they are afraid. They are afraid to love. They are afraid to fall in love. Because they think they're not good enough for that person. I'm, I'm fat. What if he later realizes that I'm too big for him? Or maybe I'm growing rapidly and, and he's still skinny. What if later he tells me uh, my kids are fat because of me? You know, what if he doesn't want to take me out uh, to his friends' houses to functions and everything? You know, there are so many what ifs. So this person has withdrawn. Why? Because somebody has a big mouth, they just like to talk. They talk anyhow, as long as something comes out from their mouth. They have mouth diarrhea. It is not good. It is not good. We need to stop. We need to stop. Especially us women. Hmm. I will see uh, one person that is uh, that just got engaged. That's like I said previously. People, it is not my business that say that person has a small ring on her finger. It is not my business. And it is not my business that her finger is too tiny. It is not my business. I'm just supposed to look and pass. That is it. Your advice is not broken. Your opinion is not broken. It is my body. Let me have my body. Have your own body. If you want uh, to change somebody's body, change your own. You don't understand. You can never understand what people go through. You know, somebody will be fat, not because they eat too much, but because that person is sick. They have a condition that makes them gain weight very fast. And it's difficult for them to lose that weight. That's why they're fat. That's why somebody has gained weight. You know, she did not ask you to go and tell her, ah, she are too fat. What man is going to carry you? Eh? A man cannot even carry you. Who told you she wants a man to carry her? Can she not carry herself? Eh? It's, it's her body now. Why should another man carry her? I beg. Face your friends. This body shaming, my dear, is... Even, you know, even if you say something as a joke, it breaks somebody. It breaks people. For you, you might sit down and say, ah, see that one. That, that one is just too emotional. She's just too emotio emotional. I was just joking. Go and joke with your ancestors. We don't need your jokes. We don't need them. Go to your ancestors. Tell them they're fat. Don't come and tell us we're fat. It is, it's none of your business. If I'm too skinny, it is none of your business. Don't come and depress my depression. Okay? And then, baby girl, let me tell you something. If somebody is body shaming you, their life is miserable. They are miserable. They are frustrated. They are trying to frustrate you, but you are not going to take it because you are fabulous. You are gorgeous. You compliment that body. See your face. Look at yourself in the mirror and say, this body is mine. I compliment it. Don't let these people bring you down don't let them break you they are nobody's do they give you money do they do anything for you 
nothing. All they do is body shame. All they do is break you. They don't know how to spread love because they are wicked. They are wicked and wickedness runs in their blood. Baby girl, don't mind them. Rock that body. Rock it. It is yours. God gave it to you and you can rock it. It belongs to you. It belongs to you. It is yours. What she thinks about it is none of your business. What you think about it is what matters. If you want to change it, change it because it makes you happy. Don't change it because Jessica told you so. Don't change it because Nkechi, because a, a blessing, because a who? Amaka told you to change it. Don't change it. Change it because you want to. Okay? And you, who is busy talking? Are you skinny enough? Are you fat enough? Do you have curves? Do you have big boobs? Do you have a brain? Do you have a brain? Is it functioning? Your heart, is it pumping? Do you have food on your table? What else do you have? Are you wearing good clothes that complement your body? That's what, that is your business. That's the business you're supposed to take care of. Don't come look through my window and see what I'm wearing. Don't look through my window and see how big my ass is. It is none of your business. Mind your own business. Face your front. That is it. Baby girl, flaunt your body. Flaunt it. It is yours. God gave it to you because you deserve it. You want to change it? Change it for your own good. You want, you want to stay that way? Stay that way. It makes you happy. Stay that way. Your neighbor can change her body if she wants to change her body. Your driver can change his own body. He should not come and tell you, hey, madam, uh, madam, you're too fat. Oh, this, this, guy, this guy is going down. Is he feeding you? Is he feeding you? Don't let anybody depress you, baby girl. Don't let anybody depress you, baby boy. Because you are perfect. Even in your imperfections, any part of your body, every part of your body was molded. Every day it was molded one part after one part after one part until this whole thing was made. This perfect human being was made. That is you. You are perfect. That is what you are. Don't let anybody else tell you otherwise. So, somebody body shames you, tell them, it doesn't hurt me. This is my body. I was molded. I was molded on the seventh day when God rested. That's when I was molded. If somebody tells you, you don't have eyebrows, to them, I shave them off because they compliment my body. They compliment my face. Your nose is too big. Say, I smell better. Your lips are too big. Say, I, I kiss better this way. You are too tall, say, I see the future. You are too short, say, ah, oh, the ground is so warm. You are too dark, oh, I love darkness. I love the dark, I love the dark. It makes me feel good. You are too light, say, white, white light is good. Light is good. At the end of the day, we're going to see the lights when we die. We're all going to see the lights. So let me be the, let me be this light because I want to be this light. Don't let anybody break you. They don't owe you and you don't owe anybody nothing. You don't owe anybody anybody. If you have, if you want to become, if you want to be a giant, be a giant. If you want to be skinny, be skinny. As long as you are happy, be happy. Do you? The world will adjust. Be yourself. Be beautiful. Love yourself. Love what you do. Make that money. Hustle. Bath. Dress. Dress to impress. Impress yourself. Rock it, baby girl. Because you deserve it. That's the end for today. I'll see you guys in my next video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you guys. Bye-bye.